Hi folks and welcome back to Journey of Jim. Today, very quick video on Subnautica Below Zero. We're actually going to be looking at where to find the Mercury 2 crashed ship. In fact, both sections of it. Let's see what happens. It's the Journey of Jim. Okay, so we're going to be starting at the drop pod. Nice and easy landmark. Everybody knows where it is because that's where everybody starts. I would highly recommend that you build the compass before starting this so you have a compass bearing. I've got my sea truck, but you can just as easily find this with the sea glide or even just swimming. It'll just take you longer. It is about a thousand meters away, so it does take a little while. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off on a bearing that's between southeast and south but isn't directly either one it's about two of the notches from south towards southeast and if you're starting kind of above the drop pod here if you look at this iceberg to the southeast follow it to the right you will see a tiny gap between the two icebergs there if you aim for that gap that pretty much puts you on the right bearing so like i said about two no two notches to the southeast from south and keep going for quite a ways helps if you have the boost for the sea truck just to make things go a little quicker don't pay any attention to that structure down there that is my base that won't be in your game so don't use that as a landmark you will start to see the geothermal spires so you can just kind of go above those still making sure to stay on my compass bearing getting now into the purple vents biome We're essentially going to be passing through slash over purple vents. This area is filled with the cryptosuchus, which is the kind of the almost alligator like thing with the paddles that makes all of the noise and the squid sharks or sharktopus as I like to call them. And here it is. This is the beginning of the wreck of the Mercury 2. So if I follow this around to the front, or the back, depending on your perspective. And you'll see that this whole area has been kind of torn apart and there is an entrance in this area right here. There are some cool things to find in there. I won't spoil the, that for you right now, but that is not all that there is to find because if we kind of take the direction that the ship is going and face directly the opposite way, which is going to put you in a south by southeast direction uh, and keep going in that way by about another 200 meters. You start to get into this greener water which means that you're in lily pads which is a good sign. You'll start to also see those squid sharks, sharktopus, um, popping up. They are pretty aggressive and they can zap you which paralyzes your sea truck if you're not careful so just be wary of that. Generally give them a wide berth and here you will start to see the second section of the Mercury 2. And this is very, very important, especially if you're still looking for the prawn suit, because there are a bunch of prawn suit fragments here that you can scan. Uh, not enough to get the full blueprint. You also need to get into, uh, into the mines for that, but that'll be another video. But as you can see, there's an entrance here. There's lots and lots of find in there. You'll find the story of what happened to the crew of the Mercury 2. Uh, lots of fun things to scan, including the uh, nuclear power plant, nuclear reactor to power your base. So some very, very cool things in here. And there you go. I hope you find that very useful. This has been Journey of Jim. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.